All right, so uh, before I forget, the purpose of this um, video is is to try to convey the idea, you know, or my opinion of how to transition. What what system do we have to design and create and build or whatever to uh, to eventually not need money, and and how will that come about? Um, but I also forgot to mention, which I'll, I'll put the link on all my other videos uh, to the Mondragon, because they've kind of basically solved that problem. So, so this is going to be a real quick, um, a real quick. How to put this? Uh, super fast rundown. If if you know you don't understand how money is how money is made or anything like that you know um so i like I, I always love pictures that you know convey i mean they're good for starters but they don't really take all they don't really account for the nuances cuz they really you know cr really there really is quite a bit of nuances so i don't know why this one's not coming out such a great picture but um, i might have to find it later um, so this one's another good one, right? We eat for you, right? This 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 is the the blue collar, right? The blue collar laborers. Then you got the white collar. Well, this actually might be white collar too. Some white collars are actually doing work, but they're not in the typical work, meaning office work, but it's still work, and it's not like you can say these are the owners, right? These are the owners, uh, the CEOs, people who really don't do work work, and you know get more of the benefit. Um, then obviously you have your soldiers, then you have your politicians, uh, well actually your religion, that's how they put it I guess, but religion and polit, well polit, the, 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 well I mean there is a lot of people who are religious versus secular and just so that means they, these people do sort of hold more power but nothing, nothing like the, the, the governments I guess, the, you know, the, the kings, the politicians. I guess the, the, the robber barons, the billionaires, whatever, this would be the billionaires, right? So you can see these are, you know, millionaires, multi-millionaires, <laughs> and then these are, you know, your top dog billionaires, whatever. So, um, so it's, though it's a great visual, you know, um, it doesn't really explain things. Now, this one's a little bit better, in it, or is another form of it, I think it's a little, well, one gives a picture that the other one doesn't, in a sense, but, uh, they, you know, in a sense, they're talking about not only I would say not only the, fi the actual financial elite, right? The, the 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 men and women, which probably mostly men, anyways. The women just leech on to that, which is fine. Whatever it is, what it is. I'm just saying, just it's probably men dominating here. You know, some of their wives or whatever, or their wife might uh, inherit and may have some say in there. But again, the thing with women and men is that women if you're if you're if only if you were going to be as ruthless uh ruthless as some of these men um you won't you won't compete you know and that's why sometimes women are becoming even more ruthless than what other people would say would call ruthless man you know like i'm referring to that one uh cocaine queen in, in florida you know and what she did but anyways uh, so then you have yeah then at least here you sort of do have a good hierarchy like the the bank for uh, international settlements they seem to be the top dog on the global banking game right the world bank too and I don't know who that is there um, national central banks okay so it's probably like Bank of England uh, Federal Reserve right and then over here in America you're primarily dealing with these big conglomerates right and then uh, for energy th these in in medicine. Um, and food, you're dealing with these guys, you know, and then you have government, you know, that is, sub is subordinate to these companies, right, to all these higher uh, beings, you know, they write the laws, they put in the people in place, they buy the people, they threaten people, you know, so that's one thing that people have to, may underestimate, that a lot of people actually are threatened, and their familiness and all this other stuff, that they would not even even good people would still do because they love their family and and this is where this is where this is where you're not going to please everybody because you're going to have people like how could you for you know how could you you know 
sacrifice your family for the whole United States or the world or whatever. You know, that's just bad. I would never do that. You know, and they would, like, vilify you, whereas you just, you just, you know, it would take a very strong individual, a very evolved individual to un to understand, be like, hmm, I love my wife, my kids and all, but what about everybody else, wives and kids, you know? And and, and so that comes, you know, again, the sacrificial male, you know? He may take the brunt of it, but but anyways, I'm going to predict that most men or women would fail if they were threatened, if their family, loved ones were threatened, uh, uh, if they did something that would, in a sense, benefit the, everybody. So thus corruption still happens. That's why none of these fools fall, in a sense, you know. And again, they, it's, I mean, can you blame them? When, when the media controls everybody's, you know... Uh, um, mind pretty much whatever comes out the damn tv is what was what the general population believes you know and it's i don't know i don't think it's a coincidence but i think the masses rhymes with dumb asses for a reason i, I wish it wasn't so in a sense but it just seems right now and throughout cent throughout the centuries yes you can say the rich have you know well they're just victims because the rich you know you know, uh, uh, their propaganda and their mind control and all this other crap, you know, conditioning and stuff like that. No, we are all in this collective hallucin hallucination uh, because I was brought up in the exact same stuff. I just have a spine. I am one of those that are fearless. And that's what happens in life eventually. There seems to be a, a point where where we're basically, and there's this great uh, historian, and I've got a video for that, but, you know, basically you saw a cycle. You have humans start the agricultural age civilization quote unquote civilization age and you have males become passive and they become pacified by the government government's like no 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 let us do the job for you let us do everything for you in a sense yeah they become children they become highly dependent you know and when you're highly dependent you're full of fear and so you know you want security and so thus the power structure is but then after a while because the the government gets so corrupt, then men like me come with spines and, you know, well now the, you don't really have, the the warfare is really monetarily. Yeah, they'll kill you. Do some they'll do some killing, actual killing in a sense. But the the warfare is not really you, you don't have to do it by guns anymore. Just like these guys in a sense don't do it by guns. They do it by by monetary pressures, monetary system. You know. So the thing is, once you understand it, in the masses, there, there's a there's a there is a critical mass point uh, understands how to move their money as little as it is but combined combined we are a power to reckon with you know and that's the goal that's basically it to to get re people realize that the power in, in in collective but also in that actually establish a good system that again it's just a refining, in a sense, a refining of these systems. That's what we're doing. We're just polishing the overall system, in a sense. You know, we're refining it, and now hopefully uh, we create ways, just like the founding fathers sort of created ways of balance of power to some degree. Uh, we'll create other ways to prevent this absurd absurdness that we're experiencing now with corruptness you know in a sense we would create a system that inherently would destroy corrupt corruption at its core you know it wouldn't be allowed within the 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 culture society or you know uh le legal um uh, legal system so anyway so i created this diagram and i definitely feel it's divine inspired because its simplicity is always in a sense best to some degree you know but again this won't really describe the nuances so even though this works not all banks are the same you know and within this bank thing you can go in here and create a, a you know two subdivisions of you got your commercial banks and then you got and you got the uh the well 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 actually there's technically speaking right in banking terms a a a credit union is different from a community bank you know uh which is basically in the in the bylaws and 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 certain st structures you know of the chartering of those banks but for the most part let's say there's the good banks right and the bad banks right so in a sense the bad banks own the majority of everything or at least the debt of it again they make money out of thin air so they don't necessarily own it own it per se you know 
But this is the game we choose to play, and, and, and this technology, money, okay, I'm not anti-money per se, because um, uh, it's just a tool. It's a tool, it's a technology that solved the limitations that happen with bartering once a certain, the population gets to a certain density, okay? So, now again, if you don't, if you are not a, a well, as you will see throughout my videos, I'm well versed in a lot of different fields, and most are not. We have to we have to be honest about this. Most of us are highly specialized. The system pushes you towards that. You know, that's what it is. So, the chances of you being incorrect compared to me are very very high. And also, you know, if we look at people's uh, investment in time or what they do with their free time, you know. The general population likes to go to bars and drink, you know, and even if they don't drink or whatever, there's other distractions that, that, that prevent them from gaining more knowledge. I, this is my fun. My fun is, is gaining more knowledge because the more you know, the more you can, the more you can create. That's just how it is. You know, knowledge is power. So anyways, uh, bad banks, good banks, right? There's, there's a difference. So this diagram does not explain that, but it does ex explain inherently that the banks are on top or let's say you switch let's say that this is actually a bird's eye view where this is how it circulates this is the circulating economy you know but you could also let's say again go back on the ground level where this seems like this is the top because that's where all money goes you know it's created here it's lent to us and it's lent to corporations and then we exchange you know uh, labor and that and that currency that was made by the banks that debt as paychecks and then we deposit it into the bank and then we also sometimes take out a mortgage and, and some kind of loan from the bank too. So, as you can see, you know, here the the banks give us money. We deposit our paycheck, and also I got to put in here payback, you know, loan premiums. You know, here we give to the corporations, company, you know, companies, legal entity, whatever, you know, mom and pop doesn't matter. You know, um, we we give them we give them our labor and they give us a check or they put a product on the on the market that if we desire it we can go buy with that money right so same thing here bank gives them a credit business loan whatever line of credit whatever to you know do their business expand maintain it whatever they also deposit their profits you know it might be another bank but i'm just saying this is just the the all of banks you know they may borrow from bank of america but they deposit their money with chase you know who knows whatever so I'm just saying that this is how it goes, you know. So again, it's a it's a great one to build off, and now and then. So as we get into the the nuances, which I'll go to next, I think. Uh, well, it's pretty soon. Um, you'll see what I mean. Um, let's see. So what else did I want to say? God, I have it in my mind, and then it just kind of goes away. But so yeah, just kind of giving you a, you know a basic breakdown, right? We know. If you don't know by now that banks create money out of thin air, right, through servers and all those other shit, and understand M1, M2, M3, M4, money economic, I mean, money mechanics and all those other stuff, uh, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, so, so now we're going to come to this town park. Because again, what we're trying to do is cr create. A, it, it, well, this I, it's a double whammy. Um, what I'm designing here is not only the actual physical town, right, and how it should flow but the the underlying economic model so let alone that that model can actually be scaled up you know because every state every village in a sense or city or whatever town is a micro microcosm of a macrocosm you know it is it is a, repli a replicating uh, um, fractal kind of system so anyways towns again banks are at the top they lend to the town you know they they provide certain services and infrastructure and blah blah blah, blah right um, and then all the money that all the re whether there's profit or no profit, it all goes back to the bank, right? Because that's that's who lends with the money. So, what I'm trying to say here is that we have to become the bank, like Mondragon, uh, and they are, they already proved it. You know, it's just most pe more people most people want convenience, and of course they of course there's more Bank of Americas and all those stuff because the masses choose to bank with them. You know. So, now imagine if there was a, criti a critical mass and everybody took out their money. Well, obviously, there they would be a run on the bank, period. So there would be some losers, period. Um, those with 250K 
you know, beyond the, 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 the federal, federal, federally insured amount would lose out, but whatever. Let's say, let's say you're a multi, you're a million or whatever, and, uh, and you're, you don't get there in time to get your money out, and all you get is 250 grand. Okay, whatever. You take that money and you put it in the credit union, and now you, and now you bought into this very, very unique real estate investment. And the funny thing I was thinking today when I was taking a shower was that even if, even if you will, can't live there for because your job is there you know job is in a specific place and maybe you like certain things or you know whatever you can still invest in this and you're going to get a profit even if you don't live in there so you can you can still invest in this you know and hopefully in time it'll come to your place you know i'm just saying certain people you know have a physical job that they actually have to be in you know um and then and they can't leave you know and they make good money but they like the idea, they see the revolution of it, you know, and they're in a sense, as they say, men plant trees that they will never take shade from, you know, it's kind of, you know, they're thinking about their kids, they're thinking about everybody, you know, they're truly being loving, you know, what I also notice is that obviously, as a, as a, ideally, uh, the ideal worker here would be those, and, and that's basically my generation anyways, you know, the, 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 the computer nomads, um, you know, where, you know, so basically, what I'm saying we'll have people working from Amazon, from Google, whatever, all over, coming to and investing in this, because you know they they can go about whenever wherever they want. You know, so and then of course us creating certain software and all this other stuff that will make us just as big as maybe Google or whatever the fuck. You know, those are our possibilities to generate money instead of doing it the old-fashioned way, which we already see. I mean, look at, look at, look at Apple. <laughs> I mean, it, it beat a lot of uh, uh, oil companies and a bunch of other stuff. So anyway, so yes, the money, the, the mo then it, now it's you, it's us, right? The crowd, right? The crowd. We charter our own, our own bank or we annex one because I'm sure certain, I'm predicting that a certain credit union, once they get wit wave of this viral, you know, video and project or whatever and get the gist of it all uh, will be like you know what don't waste your time just you know use our charter you know uh, so you know boom we, we 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 create a we create a contract and once once it's all done lawyers reviewed and everything you know we move the money uh, from the from from uh, well, in a sense, again, we're not going to ask you for the full blown money until we're done with the whole, the whole real estate project plan, as as I'll show you guys later of this other company that's doing that, which you guys can see my, the videos of, of Rodrigo Nino, and that's basically what he did. I'll be, basically be using his prodigy as an example, even though it is in the corrupt New York part of the area, whatever. Um, uh, the point is that it's the same principles. You have to explain the property and the return on investment and all this other crap, you know. So, um, so anyways, yes, we deposit the money. This gives us now the a reserve, right? Thus, we can create money now, just like just like the commercial banks or the bad banks, as someone you would call them, all right. So now that funds that that those loans will be used to obviously give you a loan sometimes, but more importantly, the ideal is to you know, uh, use every dollar for the cooperatives. You choose to work for one of the cooperatives, and you get a salary. You know, and then you also get, uh, um, you know, a dividend from here. I mean, because we're trying to simplify it too. You know, we we could structure a cooperative where, where you can in a sense buy bonds or whatever. I mean, well, well, they're going to have profit sharing, so you'll have a salary, and then you know, the salary is, is to have predictable running costs. The profit sharing, the, depending how you structure, whether it's 401k, which we're probably not going to do that, but if we do, whatever. I'm saying there's there's 401k options, all this stuff, and that way, if we're still using the legitimate side of the market, because there are some le legitimate things, you know, um, that that uh, it's not it's not necessarily about corruption, but yeah. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Now, whether you can buy into the other co-ops, it's kind of pointless to make that make them also, in a sense, go public to raise capital, because why not why not ra why not move that capital that that we would have back into the bank, increasing its its reserve funds, thus being able to create more money, you know. So, 
in a sense, doing an IPO is kind of would be pointless. Not 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 out of the possibility potentially, but I'm just saying it 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 kind of would be pointless. Or we could do that, but we would route it back into the the, the bank, you know, and then they would be cutting you know the the uh, the dividends out to them. So anyway, so yeah, you give talent to the co-ops, they give you salary, profit sharing. If all goes well, right? You lose with the company and you gain with the company, just like Mondragon. So again, people say, oh, this will this is, will never work. It's already happening. Mondragon is proving it. Sure, they're having outside market pressures because of you know people. Uh, some you know some people are corrupted and they they see what America can do and or whatever you know the greed basically you know sure you can you can become rich beyond your wildest dreams but it's not really sustainable and good for all of us you know the the human race as we're seeing as we're seeing the problems so anyways so the that is kind of you know the the overall thing now when we get to actual see now this is what I was trying to map all the nuances within the thing you know so normally you have an interviewer with a business plan then you have you know uh, a bank because he applies for you know if he does if he doesn't go the the their own money save money or their friends money or family family's money whatever right the next logical step is they go to a bank you know and even your family might treat you like a bank they'll set up the same terms they'll hire a lawyer and they'll structure some kind of uh, some kind of uh, uh, stocks. So, be a private equity uh, fundraising. So now, with within the bank, you, this is this is kind of what you have, right? You have the Fed, right? Creates money when the government, uh, you know, sells a bond. So it's not really well, yeah, it lends it, but it also kind of, well, in this case, it's not borrowing a loan per se, but it's since it's selling bonds, it's still kind of like a loan because you're saying, "Hey, give us this money, and we'll we'll, we'll repay you this much extra." It's just like, "Okay, give us whatever money you had, and we'll pay you interest." It's still the same thing, bond or a, or a mortgage or a loan or whatever, same shit. So, like I said, so now you have the government that borrows or sells bonds to the Fed and give and the Fed gives them money. Then you have Credit unions, uh, which are usually not, which are by law structured as non for profits, not that not that you know people within that non for profit can can pay themselves a ridiculous salary, thus making it no different from a for profit. But generally speaking, legally speaking, um, this is a non for profit. Then you have the commercial banks. So you you know I'm gonna put pictures here like um, you know. Um, uh, Bank of America, blah blah blah. Anyway, so government pays for government programs, services. You see, so I'm I'm following the money, right? Uh, this lends to the public, right? Mortgage as in form of mortgages. Really, I spelled that wrong. Come on now. I guess I. Oh yes, that's true. Mortgages, car loans, student loans, credit card loans, business loans. You know. So then uh, the the government uh, programs. Um, and services, you know, use private and public, cor you know, they buy from, from, you know, just like when the government buys a bunch of computers from, let's, let's say, Dell or CDW or whatever, you know, they're, they're, they're buying from the private and the public, uh, you know, corporate goods and services, you know, uh, so the borrow, invest, or spends, you know, when they, when they get this money, you know, business loan, invest, spends is just, you know, a car loan, usually a student loan, mortgage is more like an investment, if you do it right. So the next, so I guess what I'm trying to boil down here, what is what does the borrow purchase and and for how much, you know? All again, you can just go further down, you know, and obviously, obviously, e obviously, each individual, you know, creates a a crazy uh, tree, you know, a root system. Who are who are these private and public companies, and how did they become to be, and what are their true debt to asset ratios from the past and present? Exactly. So, big guys like Dell, big guys like whatever, you know, we, you know, what's up the financial visibility as I talked about uh, in the last video I think so, or you'll you'll hear it eventually too so anyways once you get approved you know your company is incorporated chartered now now you now you have very op many options of corporate structures but for the most part you got owners management lab and labor right the, these are the the, the, the three um, then you have um, the CEO which basically called directors members of the board 
uh, management, labor, and public stockholders, you know, if your company is public, you know, so uh, company builds and hires, company produces uh, produce products and services, right? This is kind of just going down the, the road, right? So goods and services, or per consumer purchases goods and services. So the consumer, the question is, are they employed? How much personal savings do they have? And do they have access to credit? You know, what's their credit score and all of those stuff? What would be their cost to access to credit, right? Then this is, let's see what I'm trying here. Person to, to supply cost, uh, money. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, if you have a, a product idea, what's the supply and the cost of that? What's, you know, well, sometimes I'm saying that sometimes you may have a desire or need, and then you'll think of the product, or, you know, you just you think of the product and you look at supply and cost and whatnot. So, and then the money, you know, your next question: Okay, do I have enough money? And, you know, meaning, mean, you know, do you got it? De you know, debit? Are you pay? Are you gonna pay the business through debit? Oh, sorry, you're gonna buy the product. Sorry, this is what I'm. Yep. So these these are the, in a sense the logical steps, you know. Right? So whether you had a desire or you saw a TV commercial and now all of a sudden, you know, you want that product, but there's only a certain amount of supply, right, and a, and a cost to that. Now you come to money. Do you got it or are you going to put it on your credit card? You know, then you experience, you know, or you acquire the product and you experience it, right, for however long or use it, whatever, and then it either goes to the landfill, uh, see, landfill garbage, so these are your options, basically. Oh, sorry, landfill, right, which is garbage. Then your garage. It's funny that garage and garbage are kind of similar sometimes. That's why people say it's garbage sale, because it is, in a sense, those people's minds kind of garbage. You know, they're just a last attempt to get, you know, uh, some kind of money for it. But anyways, you can either donate, reuse, and hand down, right, or you can recycle slash upcycle. You know. So, but again, in our in our system of recycling here in America, generally is is a joke. Japan is a different story. Switzerland, other parts of the EU are a different story. So, what did I say? This okay? Let's see. So then the other. Oh yeah, it's another thing to think about: time usage of the product, life of the product, storage storage of product. You know. So, anyways, as you can see, these are all. This is in in a sense, this is my thing of getting to the nuances so this is the 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 overall process but within that process there's a lot of nuance you know we can go even further as we saw you know which I want to develop in time so then obviously uh, the company generates profit you know now the question is uh, uh, you're the producer so the producer supplier has a uh, total net cost of products manufacturing Say, I think I was trying to do some, put some numbers to this so you guys can actually see what I mean because I can articulate it, but the numbers will really uh, drive it home. Okay, let's say so. Yeah, cost a million dollars. Total net cost of the product ten dollars. MSRP twenty bucks. Monthly loan cost like what is their monthly premium right for this for this uh, million dollars that they took out. What are the variable expenses? That would be energy, labor, supply cost, repair and maintenance. You know, those things vary. Market demand, what price can the market bear and for how long? So these are all the things that are have to be accounted for within the business, the, the producer, supplier. And I think I had to put some other ones, but uh, again, that's not the point. So as you can see, I really thought a lot about economics. Uh, oh, and there's more, way more to it. There's history and just but but to not waste time um, oh here it is so now that we sort of know how the money flows uh, I'm gonna sh this is my first attempt to explain um, why this particular economic setup and, and and city setup will lead to a no money society let me uh, puff a little bit on the screen I'm a drug addict so yeah I'm gonna now I know sometimes take some time 
to 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 get to the to the actual let's say climax right climax and resolution so over here I was saying how you know we once we do the credit union and we establish all these all these service and industries right and then usher in this new economic model uh, when you get here you know we'll have like I said we'll have storage slash library slash access centers right because people were talking about oh it's not about ownership but act you know access which is true so uh, so yeah two options to share or not to share to sort yourself or have the center's employees do it for you you know so when you moved when you when you move into the town let's say you just heard about it you, you paid your money you bought in whatever um, you um, you you know like me I have a lot of stuff I have a lot of tools um, some uh, what portion of I guess quote unquote my stuff is actually mine versus inherited and I kept it and I managed it because you know I like to invent things and whatnot and I don't want to buy uh, things you know um, I have quite a bit of stuff you know but again how much of it is personally mine versus inherited is a whole other question but the point is I have a lot of stuff that I want to share and also just get rid of you know uh, period it's it feels good you know removing that that lot of useless stuff in your life you know especially when you like me who, who I have had to move a lot so I've had to create a decent system of totes to to move all these things but I obviously there can always be more consolidation and so forth which I'll put a video in time of you know what I'm what, how I'm processing that stuff and that's why uh, partly why I'm keeping it too just to get a gauge of what we're gonna all the different things we're gonna get and the and the and the the amount of categories you know to uh, do to put these things so in the last video I did probably went through this pretty quickly but okay so once you come into the thing right and and you and you and you give us your you go to the to the access center and you and you know with your with your moving truck and you unload all the stuff that you don't want to keep in your apartment right right you want to store whatever um, and then they process it and now it's all in the app you know all your stuff will be you know nicely categorized and you know you'll be able to go retrieve it from the center and we're probably gonna be using this this will be Amazon basically Amazon you know uh, the robots so the robots will you know depending on what you put in you know the shelf will be created and then obviously RFID tag and the robot will go pick it up whatever and bring it to you you know so again we there probably wouldn't be too many humans for the most part at the access center you know so so yeah so now that you're there right you you moved in whether you're brand new or old whatever you're always gonna have a need for something right so I have a bunch of paper clips Right, I have some spare scissors and scissors and shit like that, but I don't need them all the time, you know. So and so do all the people, right? All these, other, you know, all these different stuff, you know. Maybe even an outdated Mac, you know. Someone in our community makes pretty good money or inherited good money, and they're like, ah, eh, you know, it's a good Mac. Anybody else would want it in the market. It would, it would go for lots of money. But because in this system, I'm pretty well provided for, and I'm getting paid in many ways and more ways than one whatever I'll put it up for for you know for uh, for somebody else to borrow it in a sense you know anyways um, so you have a need right and so let's say you you needed one paper clip right which I said before you know it meant, usually I, I try to use the drill the drill as an example but a paper clip can work too it's actually it's usually these small little tedious things are the ones that are just you know ugh, such a thing to deal with because I don't want to throw it away and I probably won't eat it for quite a while either that's the thing you know and, and certain things I know I haven't eaten for quite a while and I actually I'm looking at them right now but trying to sell them is also kind of a daunting for me because uh, I know they won't get much per se and then so I'm contemplating I'm like ah, well, is my time worth it is my time so why not just donate these things and shit like that and I gotta source some other donate, you know, some donation places and stuff like that because some of them usually just end up throwing the garbage, or like I heard the Salvation Army is just, you know, they got some corrupt. Even though it's a nonprofit, the owners or the founders pay themselves a ridiculous salary, you know, or what people think is a ridiculous salary. I don't, I don't I, you know, yeah. Again, there's many shady practices, but anyways, the point is, this will be nice and organized, 
right at the access centers right here. And I just noticed that on the phone, I'm going to have to go really close. Um, I have to go really close uh, because you won't be able to see it. But I also, oh yeah, that's another thing I want to, you know, this is meant to be viewed on your laptop and preferably a bigger screen. What, what I got right now is a 32 inch screen. That's what I use. So, anyways, so you have a need. This would cost you money if it wasn't shared, right? So the point is, instead of you having to run out to Office Depot and buy this shit or go on Amazon and order this camera or whatever, people who have more abundance than you and finally get this logic of, of, of sharing and stuff like that uh, will put it in the center, right? And for taking, you know, to be borrowed, and if, you know, they need to borrow it, they'll just ping you and be like, okay, are you done with it? You know, because some people might actually forget. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot. But see, that's what I'm saying. The app will still tell you the person who has it. So you can ping the person and be like, hey, you know, I, I can see you took out the camera, you know, three years ago or whatever, two months ago. Are you still using it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. And, if, and uh, again, if it's the owner and they say, yeah, but you need it, you know, you you know, you can say I, you know, you basically, hey, you know, I'm sorry, you know, I don't know what you're doing, but I need it, and because I am the owner, I get priority. You just have to respect that, you know, because I doubt this person is doing anything life changing with this camera, so they can be like, why are you, why are you affecting me? Like, why can't you understand? It's like, no, it's that person's camera, it's their property, right? You had time to use it. Go look, go look on the app and see if there's another camera that might be equivalent. If not, then you're just going to have to wait till this person is done with it, you know, because they may just need it for a few times. So you just may have to be patient and, and hold off. So anyways, point being is that you are going to raise a lot of money because as you acquire these things from outside the town, when you go outside of the town, wh wherever you go, whether it's, you know, the local, whatever, Walmart, Target, whatever, something that you bring that is not a consumable in the sense that you know goes into your body um, you can and don't want to store it in your in your apartment you can go put it in the access centers so so I think this is what I was trying to point here is benefits of this uh, are these are huge financial savings which can be used to buy things outside exactly and then go back and share it with everyone at the co-op access to super luxury items ie cars planes exactly because that you know with the money that I make because again, especially those about you that out there who are making good money and haven't, you know, racked up a bunch of debt to to live a you know a crazier lifestyle because you know you got this good paycheck right now, um, or people like me who are going to become multimillionaires from businesses and products and all this other crap, um, you know, we will be sh you know I will be sharing my expensive in a sense toys you know um, and as long as you respect them you'll have access to them so you know who cares if you don't own it you know if I don't have to use my Tesla for a long time and you claim it you know then uh, then 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 cool see this is where it's gonna get crazy so right now I just thought of like okay let's say someone borrows my Tesla but again, in this town, the way it's it designed, you really won't need a car. So really, it was just like, okay, I got to go to Walmart. What cars are available? Oh, a Tesla's available. You go, get in there, go to fucking, I don't know why I'm saying Walmart, but whatever. Some other place outside the town, as I call it. Oh, little bubble. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's all saying, you know, people are like, well, what if people want to hog the car and everybody wants to try it? Well, then, yeah, then, yes, the owner will see that there's a lot of requests and he or she can be like yeah okay we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give everybody access to this car you know we're gonna set up now because of the you know relative to all the requests you know we're gonna set up a limit where everybody gets to drive the car you know at least for three days they get a three day you know block uh... then they're gonna have to find other available cars so uh... but again with all this drone things stuff like that cars may actually be kind of very pe pointless you know especially for me I'm like I want to design so I can chill in a drone taxi and fucking design 
and then again there really is a need to go anywhere for the most part you know really where we need to go now is or where we will need to go is go into these uh, creative centers you know to build and design stuff because everybody would be more creating than just sitting at home watching TV or whatever you know so they're like man I don't want to waste time driving I can still design by the time I get to the lab you know almost finish with this you know basically finish, finish the design and start you know printing it or whatever you know I'm just saying you can just everything will be so efficient everything just be you know very very smooth pretty much anyways uh, f funded by everyone by contributing AK taxes oh no there I said it so yes in a sense there will be a, a tax in the town <clears throat> but obviously if you know you see a direct benefit you know there there is a cost you know to let's just say the taxes will initially pay for the the startup cost and then obviously the tax will be reduced as now we're just going to the run the running costs you know and the taxes you know will be fluctuate depending on how the running costs you know fluctuate but but again because we are creating this microcosmic uh new economy with this new crypto app which again the app is the 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 federal reserve is not going to care as long as we say yes this is tied to the american dollar they're not going to care and then from there on we can basically literally restructure uh, uh the cost of services and a bunch of other stuff to a certain degree you know <clears throat> this can be there's going to be some, but not all, obviously. Certain, there's certain products on the market that do deserve to be at the price there are, and other ones definitely should not be the price that they are at, you know? So, anyways, especially with without there being any financial vis visibility, you know? So, anyways, uh, and again, we won't have politicians in, in, in this design. That's that's what, that's what basically what's what's going to happen. The Each of these industries will gather together to... Uh, to to talk about the the demands people who are using the city app you know being like okay well what about this you know you know and then the people vote for the which which problems to solve first basically you know real democracy and like I said in this case um, using the fingerprint iris scan all stuff will definitely now will serve us to utilize that to prevent fraud in this voting system you know so that's what I see the go the government in a sense will be it will be all these people who provide us our sustenance and beyond you know uh, coming together to to solve some problems but mainly it's going to be the industrial f design firms in a sense they're going to take the input of these of, of these people on the ground and then because they design you know so you can't expect a farmer you know a person that chooses to farm with the robots to have that skill because they don't want it or you know, whatever. So I'm saying it'll come. Da it'll come down to the industrial design. F Am I pointing right? Now? Yeah. It'll come down to the industrial design firm. Now yeah, let's go into present mode. Because if I click on there, yeah, the industrial design form uh, firm. But that, in a sense, that would be the government, and ideas would be voted in. You know. And again, this is. This is saying that you know. Uh, all things being uh, being uh, what do you say? All things being perfect, or all things being true, whatever. Uh, meaning that if the you know now we're into the second, third generation, and now the culture has changed, and now they are very educated. I mean, the I mean, you. I'm just saying, my kid, but in general, the kids that that are going to grow up in in this, the first generation, when every basically when this is completely established. They're gonna be smart beyond your your wildest dreams. You you would think you'd be talking to a straight adult by the time they're I don't know thirteen or something, you know. So yes, the intelligence here is gonna grow by immeasurable amounts, especially you know compared to what we have now. So, anyways, uh, the more people, the less it will cost you, of course. So again, as there is more people, obviously the 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 burden is distributed and that's and that's the power of the crowd right and and just sharing and all this other stuff so so hopefully i guess hopefully hopefully you guys can see what that means so that as again as your mo your money starts piling but instead of every t every time you have a need right instead of like okay i got to go to the store you first check with the app 
right? And if we have it, then you just saved yourself money. So it's going to accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. The only time you're really going to need money now is when you have to leave the town. But remember, once this virus, in a sense, affects the whole world, money becomes obsolete. Money becomes obsolete, and what becomes is your credit of how, you know, your social credit of how you respected other people's property. So you see, we, we're, we're going to have a balance of, of property, in a sense, or we're still going to have property, but in a totally different fashion. Okay, so, yeah, then you'll have access to that. So if you, inherently, if you are a, a disrespectful person, right, which words won't count in a sense they won't count that that in this that in itself will, will take care of itself but how you you utilize and, and and use the products of other people especially expensive ass stuff you know it's stuff that really is really expensive will 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 determine you know how much access you get you get to things you know so yeah, you, you never know. There's going to be a person that's just going to test everybody's thing, and they're going to rack it up, rack it up. At one point, yes, they're going to be, in the sense, oh, yeah, there's another thing. There are no jails in here. We just exile you. We buy you out. If you have any money within the system, here's your money. Go out. Go live somewhere else. You, you, you know, you don't, you don't, you're not accepted here, you know. So... You, there, there's just gonna have to be that. This, this, there's no kumbaya. But the other, th but just in a sense, think of this. There'll be other places that be like, okay, well, maybe this experience of being exiled by this town has finally humbled you. That now you can recreate yourself in this town, right? And so, and so, and so, as long as your reputation is good, in a sense, right? You, you can rebuild your life, basically. So, who cares if this town? you know, exiled you. Um, there's a new town, in a sense, with open and forgiving arms. But if you also disrespect that and they exile you, what can we say? So you have to go from town to town and then you will, in a sense, be microchipped or whatever or somehow, you know, the, again, this is where facial recognition can also work because if they microchip him, he might be smart enough to know how to use certain t technology or whatever or just rip it out wherever they implanted it. And... Um, and thus now we, we don't know if now they're going to come in now, or the person might want to come back and come back into the town and hurt whoever because they you know they they exile them or whatever or him or her <clears throat> so um in this case all the cameras right protecting everybody with the facial recognition would be like they'll detect the guy and they'll be like oh yo this you know there's there's a uh, what's his face again and then obviously the robotic robotic police will will come and get them, you know? So. Now, I guess in the, in the only the only possibility is that in time, maybe, there will be jails, but again, they they won't, they will actually be what they're termed now as recreation, not recreation, uh, um, what are they, uh, uh, correctional facilities, right? Correctional facilities. I'm not correcting anybody. They're making those men even more wild animals, you know. So, kind of like that movie, that one documentary with what's his face. Um, oh, I forgot his name. Um, Michael Moore uh, over there somewhere in Europe, where they don't put you in a jail. They just kind of put you on an island, you know. And there's a house and you know, kind of like the intent of what was, you know, with Australia in a sense, but. Yeah, um, they put you in, in, an, in an island in a sense, well, which we which we can recreate that too in a sense. We'll create kind of a normal town, but that town does have a fence, right? And uh, yeah, you know, we're not we're gonna give you the 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 yeah. We're just gonna kind of tough love. Be like, okay, here's a piece of land. You have to farm your own food. If you are successful, at least farm a couple crops. We'll give you we'll give you a couple crops. And, um, and yeah, you're, you're gonna have to sustain yourself. You're gonna have to filter your own water, capture the rain, blah blah blah. We'll give you the tools, but you're gonna have to sustain yourself. You know, I'm just saying something com compassionate, but also still tough love. Um, where, where, yeah, I mean, because then you know you're gonna go insane. We're just giving you food, you know, 
So we're like, okay, well, we're not going to give you any food for a while. You're going to, here's some seats, here's a computer, here's access to the internet. Start learning, you know, depending on if you can convince us why we should give you a certain tool or something, we'll get it for you, you know. So, um, yeah, I mean, now, well, is there, is there ever, you know, we'll never say there's never a possibility for, for parole in a sense with the exception if like I don't know it, we'll have to see right but it have to be some it would have to be some super 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 heinous crime you know so but I don't know what else I wanted to say that's so that's that's kind of it that's this video is just trying to show you how we transition you know this is once you set this up and you and more importantly set this up right um, yeah you know money you'll still have money but you'll you'll be like okay why do i need it when like 90 percent of the time if i have a need i go to the city uh app to find it and have access to it and, you know done done ho now the question is because i was thinking about it, I'm like okay well obviously if we're employing employing this the walmarts of the world cannot be they can they would not be able to buy uh you know or you know come in and be in this society you know um, or as I just thought of right now they could but on the drill selling side and a bunch of other stuff they're they're gonna lose a lot of money now consumables like lumber and stuff like that concrete building things yes they will they will but again so be it, whatever, it doesn't matter. We don't need them. We can just drive out to, let's say, if, you know, again, if this is done in Colorado, we'll just drive out to the nearest town that has the Home Depot, you know, <clears throat> and, you know, any any other store like that. So uh, so the question is, what once we have these, you know, once we have the water department, the agriculture department, the housing department, you know, the, the energy, health, education, transportation, Telecommunication, media department, um, upcycling, you know, energy. But yeah, basically, you know, this is the waste department in a sense. What they would call it. There is no waste with us anymore. You know, there we capture it all and upcycle it. Um, which is when I, which I prefer to recycling per se. Upcycling, yeah. I mean, depending on how you're defining it. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We we call it the waste to energy department. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You know, <clears throat> the point is is that it takes garbage and extracts uh, uh, the energy or useful mineral or whatever from it. Um, yeah, ecotourism. So what businesses, you know? So, so as I was mentioning, I think I've I've I haven't put it here, but um, <clears throat> what's it called? Yeah, uh, uh, let's say a you know software companies would would probably be the best um, <clears throat> because they they generate money from from basically nothing in a sense. Yes, the servers and all that stuff is something in the code. But once that, in a sense, is done, it's very little upkeep, as we saw, right? Facebook. I'm just saying the amount of revenue that's generated from this company, you know, relative to the amount of employees is very low. You know, Facebook is what? You know, relative to the historical amount of big companies and, and number of employees employed and the, and the, and the revenue generated, it's, it's, a very, it's a very big ratio. You know, so it's like they make, you know, $100 million for every 100 employees, whatever, you know, it's pretty crazy. Whereas another company might have 200 employees and only make half a million, you know, something like that. So, yeah, it's, it's, the system is crazy. It's definitely kind of certain parts ass backwards. And I mean, it's just like musicians making the amount of money because of just the product and the way it is. It's just, just such a weird thing, you know, that it's like, okay, well, that's, fuck a musician can make way more money than a surgeon will ever will and the question is if you do give a surgeon the multi millions of dollars is he or she going to quit doing the work because a lot of them were just doing it because they wanted to get paid you know and become rich and now if they, and now if we switch the priority to that right where 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 we charge you know i don't know where where the public is only willing to pay you know a dollar 
or no sorry like 10 cents or maybe even a cent for a song right in a sense that's how we would kind of create some equilibrium where the, you know the music would be so cheap which some people will say it is but i mean still it still allows these 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 not only the artists but the artist you know the record companies generate millions and millions of dollars for something that doesn't necessarily sure it gives us inspiration in life stuff like that but, but the fact of the matter is that we can survive with music if 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 push come to shove we'll start banging on a fucking chair or something and make our own instruments just like how music arrived now you know so but the but to pay them that amount of money is ridiculous exact same thing with uh concerts you know when people see you know if people didn't were to reject the price of those tickets they also wouldn't make that amount of money through concert sales you know uh through t-shirt sales because they you know or whatever all these other junk that these celebrities make or sponsor whatever that because relative now to how we have our recycling system it is just eco they're they're creating ecological suicide you know all for loving a uh, you know a particular particular band or whatever you know so so yeah it's 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 it just it blows my mind it's like well fuck it is music and people do have a dollar to expend for tracks but the the re- the cost of reproducing that that song is so non-existent i mean there's i'm sure there's a cost but it's like pennies on the dollar man you know and so the just the astronomical amount of profits you know that that are made and then sadly how they're spent uh and also in, invested you know not all investments because you know people are like well it's better to invest your money than spend your money yeah but certain investments as we've seen with the stock market that's an investment right have empowered these companies who have very toxic uh, product manufacturing practices and again we're all fucking poisoning ourselves so this is why you know this has this in a sense has to be funded you know and stuff like this what just happening you know we're not going to be the only one but uh right now i just feel because it's looking at all these other all these other groups as you can see here i got groups and some other ones but all this other information here I haven't seen anybody come even close, you know? And so that's what my fundraising is, is to, so, you know, the reason they're like, oh, well, your stuff doesn't look organized or whatever. It's like, please, man, you know, what, what do you have, you know? So the point is, I wasn't born rich, and I need, I need money to give 100% of attention to this. This would be my 100% goal. But that would be a hundred grand a year. Um, then you would see this, and then and okay, and then beyond that, okay, even beyond the hundred grand a year, I need more money so so that I can take this to a to a creative agency firm, and we we'll, we can expedite the process and make it look so spectacular that people that your everyday person is gonna want to invest. You know, in a sense, we'll dumb it down so much. You know, we'll making it we'll make it so painfully obvious of how you would benefit from the system for them to not throw money at us you know they can still have all their luxuries you know they just there won't be any people there won't be people outside you know poor and begging for your money you know you won't you will eliminate the plight of 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 homeless people you know it, it is sad it hurts us all but it's also like dude it's like i'm not even that far from you know if i make a couple of mistakes i'm going to be in the exact same place as you are you know so i mean whatever you know so <clears throat> so yes um how much money will it take uh, you know that's kind of hard to to give you but i can tell you this much let's just say a cool million dollars you know a cool million dollars would would give us the website would give us uh a good portion of the of the uh of the uh bim model so oh yeah let me uh Damn it. Let me do this. Uh, <clears throat> I think he might be in here. I don't want to... Uh, I might still open up. Dang it. Just to prove you guys, tell people like, Oh, he probably doesn't have the model. That's why he just showed us a picture. Blah, 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 blah.
come on. I don't know if you guys can hear my fans going, but yo, what's up with this? Is it waking out? Come on. There we go. Let's try trying to open up my other files. So I started playing with the Hexagon City. Um, it's the TRC Village. It's just the gist of it, you know. This just kind of give you the gist, you know. There, I mean, this, which I'll show you soon, how many different approaches we can have. But uh, greenhouses, there'll be, you know, there'll be like a belt for everything, you know. So this is the housing. Then there'll probably be some commercial building, sorry, commercial industrial buildings here. Then you'll have your greenhouse, or maybe you'll have it over here. Uh, then you'll have your agricultural. Then over here will be like the harvesting, you know, silos, all kinds of farm stuff, you know. And then you might have the this belt here out here being like the rural area. So, um, yeah, there's so many ways to go about it. Um, so, but again, it all depends on funding. So, but ideally, we want to do small. So let's say the way we're doing it is that this would be a phase. You know, this this would be the experiment, uh, meaning that there would be one housing here, and then and then yeah, phase two, phase three. But this, this is what we would be replicating. Some people might say, oh, it'll look ugly or something like that. But it's like, you know, who cares? Like, it's about sustaining the food. Again, as I was saying from the other thing, on the other video, the prototype may not be pretty, but in time, we can we can refine stuff. So, um, you know, people are like, oh, I don't want to look out there and look at, look at farms from my high rise. It's like, really? Whatever, you know? Who's to say we might not even move it further back? You know, I'm just saying this is. I took what is available. This and oh, that's another thing I want to say. I'm dealing with products that are available now. Okay, none of this too futuristic extrusion things like Fresco talks about or these other people, you know, besides Fresco, talking about there's too there are too speculative and they're they're not even on the market. I'm just saying I'm utilizing things that you can buy right here now, and right now this is the longest you can buy. So I use that as like a you know like as a, as a as a as a starting point. I think it's a quarter mile or something like that. Um, that's how long they can make. So these are this is a half a mile radius, you know. So then I just you know I'm like okay let me bump let me bump up together, and uh, bump them together. And uh, oops, come on. Yeah, bump them together and see what kind of internal space I have to deal with. So, as you can see, remember we were in the last one we were measuring the height of those skyscrapers. Now let's measure what what we got down here. Okay, so this is a 600 footer. That's not too bad. Let's see, that's what I found on the on the uh, on the on the on the SketchUp's warehouse. So over here, size. Let's do this. Uh, sky scrapers again. Images. <laughs> what the fuck this is about? Uh, what was the one that we had before? Well, let's look at this one. Oh, it's in meters. I don't know how to read meters yet, man. Ba -ba 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 -ba, meters. Come on. Oh, is that the one? Uh, yeah, this is the one that I was uh, talking about earlier. See, look at this. This is how they divided the space. Interesting. Living room, blah, blah, blah. I, I gotta save that. Put view image. Um. Come on, we're Jesus. Something in feet, dog. Oops, size. Height of sky. Here we go. Dubai, uh, 200 meters. Come on now, give me some. 
Give me some of that good old American imperialistic uh, uh, standard 12 inches, blah, blah, blah. I could have just gone and gone online, right, and said they converted it to meters, but... You gotta be kidding me. Wait, does one have it? Meters. Okay, here we go, feet. Okay, so it's half of this. Okay, so we're looking at a thousand feet, so 600 feet, so it's about half of the Sears Tower, stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that that, that qualifies for a uh, skyscraper here. So anyways, it's obviously not going to be as like this, or if it was like this, I think the reason why I chose that is because uh, we would create connections between, you know, so, again, you paying me the hundred grand would allow me to further refine this, and then beyond that, go to a architectural for firm, or even if well, maybe the land developer firm either has that within in house, or you know, they direct us to the right to the right one. So you would have this is why people won't invest because if they don't see an actual 3D models now with beautiful renderings and maybe some animations. Right, explaining the further details, but again, at the end of the day, it's all about money, and so be it. Let's talk about the money because it's going to cost money, but still doesn't change the altruistic, you, you could say egalitarian, humani hum humanitarian, whatever uh, um, structure of the system, which you know I try to explain here, you know, and they will see that they're going to have maps of basically. Well, this is already it. I mean, this solves it all. This is how the money will rotate. This is literally how simple it is. If people can't understand that, you know, I don't know what to tell them. But luckily, luckily for me and for most people, you shouldn't care what other people think. The millions I make, if this, if this idea that I'll be pitching, refining, and, and with my own money and the crowdfunding money, obviously to move to get moving, we need the, you know, the crowdfunding would be great. Again, I would guarantee, you know, you guys pay me f to be the project manager for this, and we and we move forward. Or again. <clears throat> you guys don't want to invest anything. Put your money money where your where your mouth is, and so it will go nowhere. And so I will finance it myself. It's going to take longer, but I will finance it myself. But I will be doing my own little real estate development. You know, my own little small little experiment. Even if it's like what I calculated right now with this with this over here, I calculated about I would need about 300 people. Last I calculated. So let's look. Let's add it up. As you can see, yeah, 375 people is exactly what I would need. So, with my millions, I would instruct the the designers to design for three times the capacity. So we would design the 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 first high rise. You know, however it would look. Let's give you the other picture, closer one that I want to show you guys, anyways. Um, however it would look. Let's get real close in there. You know, would would be um, let's say this right here, right? Okay, so we got thirty thousand. So there we go. Like I said, this one's uh one that 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 we can just copy basically. You know, I can extrude that easily and start chopping things inside. You know, but how to how to lay everything and divide everything is a different story. So, but uh, yeah, for for or whatever uh, again if the budget if it's with, if it's not within the budget then obviously we we would we would or hopefully the budget allows for three times the expansion of that so we would build all these rooms that we know people would fill eventually because people will either have sex and have babies and those babies will grow up to adults or people will be wanting to move in you know so either way it doesn't matter the point is you need a a pr prototype thing that you can scale up and this in a sense can be scaled up you know We'll build. We'll build a filter. So in the in a sense, this first thing is going to look pretty choppy because in a sense we'll be like, you know what? Actually, building it like this would be better, and you know, they'll have a different arrangement here, you know, or you know things that we missed here that we could have potentially designed here. We're going to do it here, you know. So it's going to maybe look pretty choppy. And 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 to that, now we can go to just the different I, different things that I saw in the world. So this is an actual city that actually went off of a of a hexagram and, and how it could look, right? Uh, I would pay attention to the, to the streets and how they're cut 
it's interesting how they cut it, you know. But there's no, I like the north, south, west, east, and then the southwest, northwest, east, whatever, you know. Uh, as, ah, fuck. As I put here, you know. So, <clears throat> you know, north, east, south, west, and then you know, uh, northeast. Uh. Uh, southeast, whatever, you know. So, that way. Now, again, what, uh, there will probably be trains because, this is what I didn't show you guys last time. Nah. The, oops, right here. Yeah, I already found it. So, transportation. I think some of the Give you guys some of my secrets. So we can have. Oh yeah, some of this, this is a very cool, unique project out in in Russia. It's a great, great example. I mean, look at that. They got beautiful renderings. Something like that, possibly. You know, it definitely, it definitely has to be above ground. You know, look at this. They use two tracks. That's pretty fucking cool. So now you kind of maximize. Um, oh yeah, this is. I think this is a great roundabout. There's other other design ideas that I saw. Like this is another design. I have to analyze them clo more closely, and then also use those 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 game things, those game software that actually uh, is, is actually even though it's a game, you can you the, the software is still can apply it to real dynamics. So, um, you know, different ideas. This one, I think, I think when I analyzed this, this one was probably the best. I mean, I'm saying you there is there is no stopping. There's a beautiful flow. If all intersections, in a sense, were like this. Wow, you know, imagine you took the best design instead of all these other situations where they're like, who the fuck designed this, you know? So, this is another cool one. See, like, this is this could happen right here. So, this would be right here, you know? And so, I would design that, you know? After thinking about it and all this other stuff, reviewing it, and that's where the firm is real nice, you get a bunch of thinking heads. Um, if not to the, we could also hire two firms if, if we got good financing, but from the crowd, but yeah, so this would be right here, you know, this, this, how we, this is how we would build right there, you know, along, this is, just, this seems like a very great structure there for a bridge, but it could also be a, like, let's say this is the underground, this would be the underground, right? So, or it can be above ground, that way everything can be serviced, you know, and, and all this other crap, so. This is also a pretty cool one, right, for pedestrians, and you still have cars flowing, you know. So, oh yeah, so this is, I think, sh oh yes, yeah, this is in Germany. So this is what I was also envisioning. So you see, you still have the thing, and so you'll have these arches, right, over here. These arches, you know, and, uh, and you know, the cars and the trains on the same lane. So, but again, if you want to make it, you know this thing not necessarily well yeah the train takes care of it gets the public transportation but once they get there's a different story again well I'm sure we'll have a lot of little, little electric cars and blah 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 so anyways uh, yeah back to the hex cities um, you know look at these like this looks very interesting you know and that's the thing okay so this is a nicer rendering right this one this one looks really nice but the question is okay what does each of these buildings do you have to explain that. You're gonna to have to explain how things will flow. Like, what is exactly is this building? What does it do? You know, it may look cool, but how does it function? You know. So, and that's what I'm kind of working on now, with uh, my house design. Now, this is this is will be for the residential, but I want to take the elements of this house uh, in a sense consolidate them in a sense but this would be a residential home right because we'll have we're still gonna have rural home well, this could be a, re a rural home slash residential home in a rural area or in a suburb in the suburb area in the suburb ring of the city or suburb zoning whatever and then obviously the the high the, the the high rise is different because then you would have collective pools like this one this would be my own personal swim spa uh, that's what it is for um, I designed this house to 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 be solar passive. I I, mean, I can't turn on the shadow settings because they know make the computer lag. But um, for me, health is very important. So this this bathroom, in a sense, is designed to maintain optimal health. You know, at my own house. So obviously, you gotta 
defecate, right, and urinate, that's detoxifying your body, right? You got to wash your teeth, whatever, you know. Then over here, grooming station, because I'm a male, whatever, you know, keeping it nice and clean for the ladies. They put in time to groom themselves. A male should do too. Um, give them eye candy too, you know. So then obviously a shower after I groom. And then this is for my hot and cold therapy. Uh, so I can completely submerse myself, but also be in a meditative position. And this is my, I haven't put the glass door yet there, but this will be the steam sauna, or it can be a dry sauna too, whatever, you have the option. But this also cleanses the pores uh, in, in a different fashion than, than, the, than the hot cold therapy here. So that will extend a lot of your life. You know, and then kitchen flow. Uh, again, in the high rise, there'll be some unique. I got some thing unique, unique design features and products and services, or from a certain company that already makes it. I just got to talk to them. We got to hire them. They are the forefront of all that stuff. But yes, also dealing with each and individual waste that comes about from from just basic food shopping and and getting that, you know, utilized uh, effectively. So. You know, again, maximizing as much light exposure from the south so that I don't have to use as much light, you know, even though even though I have solar panels, these are the Tesla power walls. You know, whether I have that many would be a different question. Just how all my plumbing would flow, my water filters, you know. This is basically utility clause, you know. Uh, I put this, this is a dog washing station, and it, it doubles because then I have the space to watch, to treat certain sheets and stuff like that but I also have the cert the function of the with dog washing because I'm going to have a dog or two you know so then let's say I have a big old thing and I can kind of pre-rinse it here it's, it's just a bigger you know laundry station basically but it doubles as a dog wash because I'll have a dog so anyways um, this is my office that I designed to create to really expedite creation of everything um, um, yeah, because I want to give you guys a better world. I want to design a better world, but you guys are going to have to fund it. You know, I'm going to be putting my money in there too. Um, so then you have a digester here because, again, I'm out. This is this is me. This is me out in the rural area. So all my food waste, all my, all my defecation, all that stuff gets processed to the digester. And, it, and, then it, and then it runs a generator to start uh, charging up my batteries if, if needed or sold back to the grid you know so then I got you know my wall here because it's on it's on the uh, it's on the it's on the east side sorry west side so certain greens will be you know grown here so I can walk home or you know or yeah come out the door here cut some greens and eat it in, in my thing you know uh, could probably put some over here too or something like that but you know there's there's many things to add and I'll, I'll, you know again I don't have the time right now because I'm trying to start this company to make millions that's the goal for what I'm doing and um, and yeah but again if you I would gladly forego all that if you guys fund me um, you know but again it's gonna take minimum it's gonna take a hundred grand uh, a year and that is cheap again for those of you who have you know no clue about uh project management and the cost of that this for the size of this project it is it is cheap very cheap but i'm a minimalist and 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 tracking my expenses and understanding understanding money creation and everything uh, i've come to like 100 grand is, is is a good starting point not that it may not increase but for the most part after doing so much uh, and even living here in Portland, which is one of the most highly taxed uh, 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 city uh, states and shit, um, 100 grand is still is still great. Uh, again, because now I wouldn't have to leave and leave my 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 uh, my apartment right now, my my townhouse apartment, because this would fit in there too, as you guys will see pictures of my of my little creation station as of now. But I just rather have these these uh, these high adjustable uh, desks from. Uh, I forgot the name of the company, Uplift, and uh, and I already got the chair that allows me to be in a meditative pose because it allows me to stay longer in this. But also, I do plan on having like this oxygen mask with the air pump from outside, giving me oxygen with a one of those treadmills that you can, I can walk and work at the exact same time. That way, I don't get lethargic. You know, my blood doesn't get lethargic with toxins and uh, 
in I'm at the maximum creativity. I'm in the flow, you know, it's just going to be churning things out. I'm going to be an animal. I mean, I'm an animal now. Uh, just imagine <laughs> just imagine when I have this set up, you know, let, let alone if I can orchestrate, right, being, being a conductor at, uh, at a uh, creative agency that, that, uh, that has a whole team, you know, so the whole shebang, editors, 3D animators, whatever, you know, so to expedite the process. But again, it's going to cost money. So, okay, so, so what if you don't have the skill you know, if you have any expendable money and you really want to see this to fruition, start donating and donate as much as you can and monthly, regularly set that up, you know, which I, actually I will set up. So, yes, peeps, I hope this um, makes sense into how we will transition to a no money society. It's going to be a long road and we may not even experience it within our own generation, but we have to plant trees that we won't get to benefit let's say the shade from or whatever you know i don't know i'll i'll find the meme i'll find it later but um let's see i think that's about it for now i mean yeah check out this cool high rise building it's very interesting Oh yeah, this is uh, other people who decided to build homes. Look at that. They they actually have a couple, two, three houses in there. Maybe this one has four houses. So each house is kind of, let's say, responsible for this. You know, again, stewardship. You know, that's really what it is. In a sense, that's what we got now. In a sense, it's just right now we don't have the ability to kick out. Right now we call it property. But it's still stewardship. Why? Because the owner will die at one point. Period. You know? So... Yeah, this guy's talking about hexagonal cities and talking about this weird one in the 1980s. This appeared in the 1980s in, in, in Libya. al Karufa, Libya, you know? Look at that. Isn't, doesn't that look cool in the desert? <laughs> See, they got a couple central private irrigation systems here, you know? So looks fucking cool, right? Looks like some kind of crazy, uh, I don't know, s snowflake or whatever. This is a proposed mall by China, one of the biggest malls ever or whatever, but... Again, it can just be converted for living anyways. Let's say the the outer two layers will be living and the these two layers will be shopping, you know, whatever. Shopping is going to be very different in this town too, you know, because um, most of you are probably going to order online or whatever. That's where it's moving to anyways, you know. You'll have a physical place where you can touch the thing, but then you're going you're gonna to order and you're going to have to wait a little bit. That's if, you know, there isn't... A, There'll be a little bit of production, so people who want to buy it now will get it. But if that runs out, then you know you place your order and it'll be built on demand, not just oh let's build three millions of these and hope that everybody buys them. You know, so that's kind of a waste of energy. Um, yeah, it's showing you many different grids across uh, America, how they yeah every city has a different block dimension. You know, so this is a pretty cool picture of a kind of like a you know, terrace, or, I mean, yeah, stepping, I think it is not a terrace, no, it's not a terrace, is it a terrace, I don't know, but yeah, it's a, kind of like a pyramid, sort of, stepping down, and green architecture, and whatnot, so, yeah, I'm not going to get into all of this, but, um, like I said, it's, it's many, 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 many things, just like my folders here, uh, and also the folders right here, I have a bunch of information that I haven't extract it to the other folders so yeah man i am i am i am as what as some would say balls deep in this you know when i say 10 years it pretty much shows you know and even then there was a time where i really wasn't documenting this as much as possible but yes please watch the mondragon ex experiment it's on my google drive link in the descriptions because you know, I try to uploading it, and I think if I try one more time, you know, I'll have the third violation, and then they'll cancel this channel, or whatever. So, you know, th there's that too to 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 compete with. But whatever, if I have to rebuild it, whatever, you guys will eventually have my, you know, personal email, whatever. Especially those that donate, I can I can answer, you know, any questions you have. If you donate, I will answer them. If not, I don't have time. I'm sorry. I have way other important things to do, but. If it all goes well, if the if the if the if the campaign goes well, and a hundred grand is guaranteed, you know I probably won't even spend that much. Again, uh, I'm gonna show you the visibility too. I'm gonna show you. Okay, 
I, I'm requesting a hundred grand just to be safe, but any extra that I don't spend on myself, because I'm really, I'm really a minimalist, as you'll see me in time. I just wear basically white shirts. I'm very, very, very. Uh, I don't really need much, but the things that I do need cost quite a bit of money, even if they're not tangible things in a sense, like hiring and you know the the land development firm, hiring the 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 creative agency firms. Uh, you know that costs money. You know. So, but on a personal level, all my debts, you know, a hundred grand would be perfect. For, uh, that would allow me to save money in case I get injured and a bunch. Of, and there's then, then then there's that. Then I have a whole other set of injuries that I haven't fixed yet, or whatever that I, that I incurred from all this martial arts stuff, as you guys will see. I'm, you know, I, I'm not only I guess an intellectual, but I'm kind of a, you could say a meathead. You know, I do like going to the gym to some degree. Um, and do have a six pack and all that other stuff. So uh, I want to encourage everybody to, in a sense, become that. You know, everybody has the potential, as you will see my transformation too. I was a very nerdy looking kid. How I looked when I was younger versus to how I look now is complete. It's like complete, completely two different, two uh, two different people. So um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, uh, you know, I want you to. Or hopefully the environment would be to encourage you to to not only be physically strong but mentally strong intellect because usually people sacrifice you got your academic alphas in a sense or 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 omegas right women and men whatever and then you you got your physical ones and then you have your business ones you know and then you have your spiritual ones but I'm you know trying to combine all three aspects of being you know and that's what I'm trying to constantly you know strive to and whatnot so anyways all right day's getting late uh it's getting late uh, i hope you guys can really understand what i'm talking about now after uh hearing all this it may sound like a ramble in the beginning but um it's a pretty big project there's definitely you know each of these would sort of be like a you know a video in and in of themselves um and um and yeah so we'll see who is actually has enough common sense to see all this but again it's all rooted in this our common ground right so how do you just so that in and this is gives you a foundation to how to build a city right because you gotta establish your water you gotta establish your food your energy and all this, and then obviously and then this stuff you know so but this is prime primary you know and this is where the template which a lot of people probably won't change you know there'll be some few few modifications because of the physical location you're at but basically the same technologies will be used because why start from scratch when you have when you have somebody that already built you know uh, built the majority of it you know and 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 in 3d you know not not uh, not just some static blueprints. I mean, this software can spit out the blueprints that the contractors need, but nowadays, you know, with some exceptions here and there, I mean, they still print out big blueprints just in case the servers go down or the or the big touch screens get damaged at the, on the job site or whatever, you know. But this type of interaction with the model helps uh, tradesmen build it more accurately and faster, you know. So. Yes, this is what you will be funding. You you'll be funding me being the project manager at a hundred grand a year. All the other extra funding will be directed into hiring um, the different firms to expedite this process and do the marketing to further collect funds. But you you own a piece of it all because this is this will be this will be equity based. In the beginning, with the Indiegogo uh, generosity, there isn't that, but I will be keeping tally, you know, giving everybody a special reference number, uh, f you know, so that when we transition to the, once we figure out whether we create our own or we or we use maybe Prodigy's uh, infrastructure to collect the revenue, which actually, let me give you an example right now, that I should have done that, so, yeah, I want to finish, but exact same time. Prodigy Network. Here we go. Just to give you an example. Okay, here's invest. Okay, you see? So, basically, we'll, we'll be presenting it like this, right? A minimum investment. We'll see what it is, really, you know. 
really there wouldn't be any I mean uh, yeah estimated holding period before you can sell out um, estimated IRR I won't get into what IRR means you know don't worry about it the point is um, you have to have what the hell's going on well, there should be more info here come on there it is oh, damn it okay so as you can see there they got a pretty pretty looking page right giving you information about the location the building the trend the team the timeline blah 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 case studies yada yada you see giving you the square footage how many condominiums whatever you know so uh, again you can invest and and live in there too but you could you could also uh, just collect on the revenue because this is a commercial real estate and that's basically what we're doing you know see so look they give you a picture on the map so again you've got to present a very beautiful you know showing you know that you are professionals okay none of this none of this let me uh, that's not a good example and see none of this hippy dippy you know forget all this image stuff you know let that in a sense you, you're focusing you're putting this say this say this is I don't know how to put this your focusing on the front end too much and not focusing on the back end because as pretty as the front end can be or whatever if the back end is not there the economic structure is not there the overall plan is not there none of this pretty little stuff functions that's why communes with all their spiritual good intentions and blah 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 have gone nowhere and fail and 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 and, and you know die so you see and then you just can't have you know crappy ass old school uh, uh, slideshows too you know and again all this information over look at look let me look at the difference you know look at the difference Okay, so if you want the ma the the a good amount of people to invest, you can't have all this crap here. You gotta have the solid investment. Okay, stuff like this, and more importantly, a video to really to really drive it home because it's gonna be a big, big, big time investment. You know, that's gonna take it's gonna take a couple of good years to even design the thing. But again, with enough money, you know, we can hire the manpower. That's the only trick. Crowdfunding enough money to really expedite this process. You know? So obviously creating a website, which I got all that. So again, I'll be project managing that. I'll be orchestrating the the creative agencies, I'll be orchestrating the the the, the uh website developers, you know. Um uh, and yeah, do something like this, you know. So this in this case would be like oh the investment you know in Colorado is this and this this is what we have and then again because I'm open sourcing it the template too I'm being very generous you know I can I can hide that inf I can hoard all the information be like no this is mine blah 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 but no you know so let's see play the video here see some kind of cheerful video something you know explaining the whole thing but um, like I said before my beef with most websites is that they don't have a video right right away you know you you don't want like all this look at this all this information overload bro you know so yeah oh yeah this is the only one that that had you know a video but uh, again all this stuff just people don't necessarily want well they how to put it they did the right thing in a sense the effective thing more importantly said that they have a video right to begin with right and even this might not necessarily be this might be okay I guess but um, yeah the video you have to lead them towards a path you know you can't necessarily give them these these you know, now you got three options no you gotta kinda lead them through through a certain path and once they get the gist of it then in a sense training because uh, first of all this the, the website we're setting up is also a whole other thing where there is interaction versus 
this, you know, like there's a, the transition, uh, you know, company or whatever, like this, you're not really interacting per se, you know, you can go to these groups, but whatever, I mean, they really don't have a financial plan that people can really, be, okay, here, where is my money going to, towards, and how, what's the end goal, and how, how will everything function? So we three we three D model that sort of like they did here. This is they use the CGI software. This this is what I plan on using too. But yes, you know the CGI software, the website that you'll be able, you know if you can't afford the VR glasses, doesn't matter. You can use your web browser and start walking the town, create your avatar. You know that's what the website we have. You carry your avatar and start kind of pretending. You know what, what would be needed. You know so. Yeah, so basically with that we will be able to fine tune everything. But like I said, I mean, again, this looks pretty, but now okay, let's say we did to go with the design. What is this building going to do? What is this going to do? What is that going to do? How wh how is all this going to work? You have to explain that to investors to 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 to, to in a sense this is this is just this is like any other real estate development project. It is just a whole lot bigger. But the same principles still evolve. You have to have a design, you got to have a plan. You gotta have the financing back there, right? And that can be possible now with the internet and the crowdfunding, you know? See? So we would have here Synergy Hubs in a sense, whatever you want to call it, or just, you know, cells. What are there's so many different words? But yes, we would also have a map and showing all these different projects and they would be replicating the same design in a sense. So you know, even though let's say we're doing the Colorado thing, right? Right? We, we the mass amount of people are following, right? There's more people that are trying to do the Colorado thing, right? Uh, if someone else wants to start a project, let's say in you know somewhere in Illinois, uh, all they got to do now is copy our template and and has and ha you know they don't have to pay for the lawyers again. That was paid commutatively. Now of course, if you know they would have to be part of the the donation program, right? But their actual full investment of all their personal financing into that particular project will be derived to their project you know so there is the overall you know uh, uh, gifting of donations to further refine everything so that when you come along and and basically take it for free uh, for the most part um, uh, yeah you, you won't have to waste all this time there's a very you know again a scalable prototype that works. I'm saying you got the bl the the actual blueprints. And not only the blueprints, but you also need the financial contracts, right? And then also the the crypto app software, right? All that stuff will be, you know, will allow for this design to be replicated anywhere as uh, so long as the, uh, there's a gr good group of amount of people who now will take their bank or take their money out of the bank and put it in their own unique bank or the master bank that can serve all of us, you know in a sense that way everything's a little more consolidated or again it doesn't matter it, it you know it doesn't have to be centralized they will do their own bank you know but the point of the point of the point of the, all of this is that yes even though the first group or maybe this primary group may have paid for the majority of that stuff to open source it allows other people to create their own thing too and then we can start intertraining with them have special deals in a sense like, and again kind of making our own bubble within within the american bubble in a sense, you know. So again, let alone let alone other cities being like, how about the Dem city of Denver? It's like, you know what? This system is better. We're dismantling all our governments the way we design it. And we're going to allow you to now re reframe everything, and now we can basically probably redesign everything. You know, we're you know, but it's better to to build from new. So let's say, you know, because I found some land around here, or around here, I think. Uh, so let's say because there's nothing built here, it's much easier to build new. That as we build the housing there, people can now transition over here as we demolish their buildings that they live in there, whether they own them or not. You know, and as we demolish everything and, and restart from a better from a better design, right? It'll be a huge project. And talking about jobs, because all that is going to take it's going to take you know uh, work and whatnot. So, so yes, that's what I foresee. That you do such a good design, they'll be like, you know what? This is the best. This is pretty much the best. We're going to copy. You're, they're going to be our consultants, and we're going to dismantle, you know, from the heart of Denver on out. You know, we're just going to redo everything so that it creates a better, a better everything, better society, culture, everything, you know, in balance with the earth and whatnot. So, anyways, goodbye.